Hello, welcome back to another multiplayer battle. I'm playing as the Empire and Tokshin is too. We're fighting one Imperial player and one more Vampire Count player. The Imperial player brought pretty much every regiment of renown or nearly all of them. We're looking at the Hammer of the Witches, the Sunmaker, the Tatter Souls for Flagellants. We're looking at every special mounted unit that he's able to pick up. The Vampire Count player brought in a Terror Guy, so we're looking at Vlad Von Karstein, Bar Guys, a lot of Felbats too. And they're actually working together. Over here, we're looking at Black Knights, Dire Wolves, and Hex Wraiths. And for my army, I brought in four groups of cannon, which I thought would give me the advantage to actually dictate range. I brought in a lot of crossbows. Over here, we're looking at more spearmen. I've got two Empire Captains. I've got one group of great swords. I've got my Demigriff Knights times two. Flying Karl Franz. And Tokshin brought in a bunch of flagellants. One Luminarch. Crossbowmen. He brought in a Bright Wizard. One Arch Lector and one Warrior Priest. And right now, we're beginning to exchange fire. I thought I would easily win. I was like, you know what? They may be special, but I can easily win it, right? No. I was very wrong about that. My shots went all over. I didn't aim them correctly in the very beginning, I think. I mean, I did begin to hit over here, but I thought that maybe three would be sufficient. No, not at all. Look at how much they're doing to me already. One cannon out in the very beginning. Ooh. He's gone now. I would not want to be them. Even though I could fire a lot more. That one Sunmaker really changed things up. But no, that hammer does a lot of damage. I mean, if you look at it, 450 range. The ammunition is magical damage. And there's a lot more damage than I'm able to do. Yeah, then I tried to hit the Sunmaker. I mean, that was really putting out a lot of output. Even though he was trying to waste them on my artillery, which is actually nearly a bad thing when you think about it. That is a lot of gold gone just to kind of take out a few cannon. My cannon would be ineffectual in the very beginning anyway. Right after they engage me, but they are taking it all out. If you look at it, I'm not having a good time. They're trying. They were a bit too grouped up. In the future, I won't be doing that if I remember. I'll probably forget, but usually I would not want to do that. What's cool about the Luminarch over here, the Templehof Luminarch, it has a free net of Amen talk. And here comes their own Luminarch. I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe trying to kill my cannon, trying to snipe me. I don't know. Two hammers are gone. The Sunmaker, I believe I might stop firing it or firing at it eventually just because I knew that it was beginning to run out of ammunition. Whereas the hammer, well, they have a lot more to shoot. Here we go. And again, I utilize what is called the Took Maneuver to actually dodge their Luminarch fire. And I'm trying to hit it right now. Then I charge in and they begin to run. Get out of here. Come on. You don't need to be here. They're turning around now. And I get to fight here for a little while. But then I have to move because, I mean, they're trying to charge up. And I think they will charge up, even if you're fighting them, to be able to shoot you. And that would do a lot of damage. I mean, look at that. Over 1,200 damage. And here they go. I'm flying away. Time to dodge again. And dodge again. Whoa. Carl did it. He's pretty good at it. Okay, now they're charging at me. I'm still shooting at them. That hammer. Well, did I get it all? I did. All right, great. The hammer is gone. They left it alone. Now they're beginning to charge at me. I'm trying to hit that Luminarch. I'm trying to hit over here. Volkmar the Grim. They're shooting at me again, right? I believe they are. Let's find out. There they go. They try it again and nothing. But they are charging quickly. That's going to do a lot of damage to my cannon. And right now I'm trying to move back. I didn't want that Sunmaker to destroy my entire army. I did use Carl to actually intercept to try to lure them away. Unfortunately, Tokshin's Luminarch did not hit. And I'm entangled. Trying to get out here was actually pretty hard. I was a little bit worried about that. You don't want to do what I did here, but I had to because I wanted to save my cannon. Letting my cannon fire right now is a little bit important. It would allow me to do a lot more damage. That Luminarch is nearly gone. That's a lot of gold gone. Back here, we're looking at that cannon crew. No more Sunmaker. That's a lot of his army gone in the very beginning. But again, he's got regiments of renown. They're very strong. Carl's in trouble still. Here we come now. And that Luminarch did hit. I don't know if it hit me. I hope not. I don't believe it did. Carl does manage to get out. I have my flashlights now moving in. 
I'm trying to focus fire with all my crossbows and everything just kind of firing into them. I've got cannon pretty much firing point blank at them. Luminarch fired again and did manage to hit Carl that time. All right, let's go check out what Tokshin's doing. He's trying to move over here to help me out. The Vampire Count player didn't really do a lot. He left a lot behind. He could have came in much sooner and probably helped out his friend. His friend charged in alone. They're all grouped up. They're being bundled up by my Demigriff Knights and all of my Flagellants. And again, cannon shooting point blank. And then Tokshin did use a Flaming Skull, the Burning Head, to get right through them. Let's go look at that real quick. Hold on, before we go crazy. If we go look at that right now, they are burnt. They are burned. Their leadership will go down, not for the flagellant. They cannot. All right. We look over here. I've got more spearmen. I've got an Empire Captain. I wanted them to help me hold the line, which they did. I've got my Demigrip Knights who will move out eventually. Volkmar the Grim took a lot of damage. I mean, if you look at him, near 3,000 gold, and he's about to fall apart. My cannons are doing all right still. They're firing. They're still here. They're not running away yet. Then I've got more Demigrip Knights on the way. I've got more great swords on the way. Crossbows, too. I didn't want that burning head to actually hit me. Another shot by that Luminarch. Let's go look at this Luminarch. It should be right here, right. 37 kills, we've got more bats moving in to come fight us right now. Cryptors are moving in. We kept them all bundled up in one location though. That allowed me to use my crossbows. I did organize my spears over here. I used Battle Prayer. Or maybe Tuction did, I don't know actually. Anyway. Crossbows are now under attack by fell bats, and they could easily destroy my fell bats. But fortunately, I had spearmen to help them out. We moved in, we hit them from behind, and they will drop quickly. Over here, Cryptors are trying. We've got Volkmar the Grim nearly dead. Let's go look around again. We took out the Regiment of Renown, completely shot apart. They're flying away, they're done for. Hex rays are trying to move in. Let's go look over here again for a very cool shot. We've got more black knights trying to charge in. They're being buffed up too. Again, I've got my great swords to fight. And I've got my demigrip knights who are still fighting. We're not killing a lot of them, but who are doing enough damage to take out Zentler's Reichsguard and over here, Dire Wolves. They just outnumbered me. The fell bats are falling apart. Crossbows, 18 kills over here. Tokshin is still looking really good though. He's got Knights of the Blazing Sun. He's got his men still around to control the map. I'm having my cannons now fire pretty much point blank at Crypt Horrors. 13 kills for that group of great cannon. Not a lot of kills. Over here 31. Over here 32. My hammer 54. Demon Griff Knights are still fighting. And Carl, he's kind of flying around. He's helping me out where he's able to. Sure, I was reckless with him in the very beginning, but now he's able to kind of maneuver around to help me out to fight a few minor foes like Felbats, and we're still firing at them. I'm having a bit of fire addressed upon the Black Knights over here. Demigriff Knights are still fighting. I'm trying to make sure they can't plank around me and destroy me. Crossbows are still shooting. They're going to whittle them down. Again, in the middle, they completely allowed me to bind them up. Over here, Tuxin did use a net of Amin Tuck which kept Vargas away from him. I'm wondering if he's actually going to shoot at him now. I don't know. I think he's trying to form up for that. Yeah. He's trying to form up for that here. We're going to put that all on so we know what's going on. I don't need to show you by pressing space bar. They're coming down to my cannon. Demigriff Knights are here. I wonder if they'll move in to go help out eventually. I think I wasn't paying attention to that right now. We've got one arch like they're buffing up the entire force again using, you know, Grand Soul Fire. We're still fighting the Cryptors and everything over here with my Demigriff Knights in tow. who are supporting them. Another Burning Head goes right through them to really diminish their leadership. Watch out, not to the Blazing Sun. Do not need to blaze like that. Great Cannons are still under attack. He's trying to help me out with his Flagellants right now. The Var guys are being shot up. I wonder if he forgot about them. Oh no, they're just being able to move. He probably used an upgraded Net of Amintok. That's what I'm thinking. The crossbows can easily take them out if you're allowing them to shoot them up. Again, all grouped up. We're holding. Somehow we're holding. We've got a bunch of cheap men fighting there. Flagellants are definitely doing it too. 84 kills with my hammer. They didn't take up my hammer. They kind of allowed my hammer to exist. Knights of the Blazing Sun are tearing right through. Oh, man. Luminarch hit again on a terror guy. He's doing a lot of damage. He did a great job with his Luminarch, and they didn't take it out at all. 37 kills and doing a lot of damage. Again, he probably forgot about him. I mean, they're chilling out here. If the Vampire Count player is a little bit 
proactive, then maybe it would have been a different battle. I doubt it. I took a lot of damage for sure. I had to fight a lot, but with my Empire Captains and a Warrior Priest and all of us fighting together, we were able to hold. I mean, look at the bodies here. While we're holding, I might add. It's really not too bad. I had a pretty normal composition for one Imperial Army. I don't really have a name for it. Usually, if my army has a shtick, I kind of have a name for it. Oh, man. The Bright Wizard actually got well over 100 kills. That's quite a few. Next race is still over here. Now they're falling apart. That is when they begin to fall apart. Arch Lucky 29 kills. Not bad. Fully buffed. Cannon's still shooting. The entire time, Cannon was shooting away. Terror Guys fell down dead. Look at the kills on my cannon. They accumulated over time. Crossbows were here, giving support the entire time. That's all that we really had to do. One more dead enemy lord. And that is about it. We've got only a few flagellants left. They only got 19 kills and they're falling apart now. We got them. We're charging in and killing them all. There we go. It's over. The battle is won. Let's go check out our kills right now. I lost 352. Toshin lost 332. If you look at it, we actually didn't lose a lot. No, I thought I lost a lot more. We really didn't. Carl took some damage. My Empire Captains did a lot of damage. I mean, they stood there and fought like the entire time. My crossbows helped out. My Demigriff Knights did their part. They screened my army and kept them all together. If you go look at what they lost over here. No kills with a Luminarch, barely did any damage. Their Hammer did not get a lot of kills. I mean, keep in mind, the Hammer Sunmaker really went after my artillery, which was a really bad choice. I mean, each group outside of my Hammer was only 800 gold, whereas, I mean, they had a lot more, 1,200 for the Hammer, a lot more for the Sunmaker. Flagellants, I mean, they're good for flanking to actually deal damage. The remainder didn't really do a lot. Silver Bullets, I don't even remember them at all. They died so quickly. And then for Tokshin, Bright Wizard did an incredible job. That Burning Head really gave him a venereal issue. The Warrior Priest, 84 kills, which is pretty uncommon. The Flagellants did a great job. Knights of the Blazing Sun did some damage. Luminarch did a lot of damage for sure by taking off big chunks of their health. Detroit Slim, Vlad did not do a lot. Kryptorius came in, did not do a lot. The Vargais were actually beginning to do a lot, but he forgot about them. And the Net of Amentok definitely did help to counter them. The Zombies were kind of just there getting kills over time. But that is how we beat them, and that's how you do it when you're playing as the Empire. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like down below and check out our channels. And as always, until then.